Well, hello guys, Changro here for my first Sticky Piston stream. Can you hear me okay? I am excited to be here for my first stream. Excellent. Thank you, C3PO. Um, I'm going to be playing Valhelsia Enhanced Vanilla. I'm here on a Sticky Piston server. And what I thought I would do is, because this is a brand new thing for me, is start a brand new world in Valhelsia Enhanced Vanilla. And I'm going to, I'm going to jump into the Sticky Piston server console here for a second. And because, you know, if you haven't had a chance to see this uh, cool interface, I thought I would just kind of run through this, start a whole new world. We're going to, we're going to do hardcore. Uh, if you guys are panicking because I'm doxing my server, I blocked it out. I hacked the page, so it's not showing it, but we can go into the world manager here create a new world and I'll call this sticky piston and we're going to do hardcore. And I think that is all I need to change here. Just so, just so you know, I'm random here. Let's create a new world and activate it. This is going to take, this is going to take a minute because I got to restart the server. So we've got our, got our new world. Let's just make sure sticky piston new and active. Okay. Start that up. And while that's doing that, let me just, I guess, introduce myself. I am Jangro, as you know, um, I mostly do videos on YouTube. I do a lot of Valhelsia videos. I'm on the Valhelsia mod team on their Discord. I've been involved in that community for a year and a half or so. And, um, and yeah, I, I love Valhelsia mod packs. I love modded Minecraft um, and I love helping people out with it. And that's what I do a lot of on the Discord. And my YouTube videos are pretty instructional. And this is going to be a little bit different, kind of just let's play stuff. Uh, but I thought I've done a whole series on Valhelsia Enhanced Vanilla, so I'm pretty familiar. And, and uh, so I can answer any questions about it. Let's, let's jump in here. It's not quite up yet. It's getting close. Let me check the console. Oh, it's a new world, so it's taking a little extra time here. So the thing about, let's go back to the prettier screen, the thing about Valhalsi Enhanced Vanilla is that it is a, um, it's kind of an RPG take on, um, on Minecraft. There's a skill system. We start out with, uh, no, with very low levels and we like an RPG. I think we're good. Let's start this up. And be easier to show once I'm in here and I'm just scared of what we're going to see here because I'm in hardcore and of course I am in a terrible place. So you, so you can see we've got um, three hearts and here's the, here's the skill screen. I hit K for that and I need to level up everything to even to use stone tools, I need to be on level four. In order to mine stone, I need to be level three. So we're gonna be prioritizing our skill points here. First things first, let's break a tree. I'm also kind of in a hurry because with three hearts, I'm not gonna be able to survive the nighttime without any protection. I can't even jump out of this tree right now. quickly switch. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is not a great spawn. Um, and I gotta, I need an ax. I can only use a wooden ax for starters. So let's, let's take care of that. Get out of here a little more quickly. <laughs> I'm 
take our crafting table. Can I just jump down? All right, I think I can just kind of parkour down. Oh, I'm way up here. This is terrible. So I have three skill points to... I shouldn't even dig straight down, should I? I'm assuming this is just a straight tree trunk. <laughs> On top of a giant spruce. A mower burger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There is no tree climbing skill. I'm spending the entire first day getting out of a tree. This is this is great. So my priorities here are to get skills. And I do that by leveling up with um, it's kind of like getting Minecraft XP, but there's a special this is a, the mod in here is called level Z and it has its own XP orbs. That you get it's roughly the same as okay oh we've got a mini map i'm gonna head west does that look safer and so you see here um we've got shaders uh this mod pack is on fabric oh this is awful this mod pack's on fabric not forge which you know, if you're familiar with, with modded Minecraft, those there are a couple of uh, modding platforms. Fabric tends to be more lightweight, uh, a little faster for devs. Newer, Forge is much more established. So the thing about Fabric is... Okay, what's this over here? Oh, is this a village? Yes, it is. That is good news. However, well, no, let's, let's head to the village. I see a golem over there. It is safety. I don't want to live here in the tundra. Let's see what we can find here for food. So this is great news because villagers are great paper villagers are one of the one of the best ways to level up with trading here's a I'll kind of touch on some of the mods that are in here. This is, so first of all, this um, world gen is Terralith, uh, which is in here as a mod. So those are Terralith ice spires over there. There's a villager guard mod in this mod pack. There's a lot of mods in here. Um, and I was starting to say Forge is much more established and some of those bigger mods that you're used to seeing um, just aren't necessarily ported to fabric. It's becoming more popular to port mods over to fabric so um you know so that's encouraging um all right you guys got anything here for me okay let's so i cannot use a furnace because you see down i right clicked on that down the bottom it said farming one i need to level up farming to level one so now that we're safe let's take a look at this so I can sleep now, sleep through the scary nights. I can't tell you what a relief it is to have spawned near a village. So here's the skill screen. The things we want to prioritize, um, you know, just starting the game, I want to prioritize finding a bed because nights with three hearts is, in, especially in hardcore, is not good. Um, oh, and I'm not going to give the golem a pat on the back because I'll probably punch him and end up dead. Um, find a village because that's probably the best way to get XP, especially early on. Um, 
need to get wood tools, which we did. Um, an axe is probably the most important thing. If I hadn't found a village uh, to find food, I would have probably jumped in a river and started killing salmon, both for XP and for food. Hi, guys. All right. Um, so what I'm going to want to do is... This is an interesting house. This is just terrible terrain here. I do not want to spend much time here. I'm going to head west in the morning to kind of get started over there, I think. Maps and paper. OK, so given that we have found a village, let's look at our skills here. Um, in order to trade with villagers, we need to get to level one for trading. And I can get a, I think a Fletcher is the best villager. So I'll make a, I'll make a um, fletching table so I can just sell that guy sticks. I'm going to stick around here until it gets dark and, and I'll sleep. But let's cut down some trees and see if we can get a Fletcher. The big mods in this mod pack, um, things that we're going to progress into from a kind of a content standpoint, are Tech Reborn which um, is, if you've been playing modded for a long time, I think it's from, um, it's kind of a remake of Industrial Craft, which I'd never played, but it's kind of like mechanism, you know, those you know, machines that help automate stuff. It's a pretty cool mod. And Applied Energistics 2 um, is the kind of automation and storage mod um, in this pack. So both of those I'm going to want to get into um, in relatively short order. I'm busy talking and should get more busy getting myself situated here. I also think the first night, as if again this wasn't hard enough, I think the first night you can't get to you can't go to sleep at 6:30 p.m. But then subsequent nights you can. Um, I haven't started enough new games to kind of figure that out, but we'll see how that works out. Right now, if I try to go to sleep right now, I don't think is that an iron block. Where was there a bed? Let's not risk hitting a villager. All right, guys, I am going to need this. Oh, we can. Okay. So. I can't trade. There's a fisherman. So we have um, REI. It's the kind of inventory system here. Fletching table. We need flint. And to get flint, we need to mine, be able to mine. I can be careful not to click a plus by mistake. Gravel. So we need to be level one mining. So let's level up our mining to one. And I'm going to be stingy with points here and one for trading since I've got bread to eat.
I don't know why my hunger didn't seem to be going up. I don't know about that. So let's put our crafting table down. And we need a shovel. I gotta go find some flint. And another axe. Let's make another shovel because the flint, we can even find some, is probably going to not produce a ton of flint, the gravel, that is. Where am I going to find gravel? All right, well, let's head west and check out this. Hey, Calador. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. I have been watching your stream for a long time. You streamed Valhelsia, I believe, if I remember correctly. I don't even know how long ago, maybe a year ago? Show me some gravel. Now my speed is diminished, I believe. So I can't even run very fast right now. He gave it up and went simple. Yeah, I get that. There's a, definitely a learning curve, and that's, I don't know, that's kind of what I like to try to help with. Because um, I, I love modded Minecraft. You know, I play vanilla, of course. I played vanilla for years and years before even trying modded. Um, but it's... You know, it gets pretty, it gets, it gets pretty, um, I don't, I don't want to say anything bad about it, but it gets pretty boring playing vanilla over and over. You know, I like automating things. And once I, once I tried, maybe there's some gravel on the shore over here. Once I tried modded and found things like sorting systems and storage, it's hard to go back to vanilla. I've made countless redstone sorting systems and I'll take applied energistics or refined storage any day. Give me some gravel, please. This looks like there's some gravel over here. This looks like a meteor. It is. Meteorite. And here's some gravel. Okay. We have some flints here. Hopefully we'll get some flint. Just need a couple. Yeah, this is 1.18.2. And as I started to say, this the, the major mod packs in here are applied energistics, and that's what this meteorite is. Um, I can't mine the sky stone that the meteorite is made of to get to the center of it, which the starting bits for Applied Energistics 2. I have to be, oh, what is one flint? All right. And the other one, great. Let's, that was quick. Let's spend a few more. Yeah, you have to find the presses. Those are in the middle of the meteorites. Actually, there was a, so here's, you know, here's some insight into the um, the mod pack development. 
it's no longer an issue, as you can see, but meteorites weren't spawning because there was a, a conflict between Applied Energistics and Terralith. And so meteorites just weren't generating in the world. So the developers um, changed the mod pack so that you can find presses in end chests and you can make Skystone in a Tech Reborn implosion compressor, which is a pretty late game Tech Reborn machine, but you didn't have to find a meteorite. And so that was kind of a stopgap until that was fixed. And um, it made it possible to find presses and, and get Skystone. So there are ways to do that without digging into a meteorite. Is that Flint? Yes, it is. All right, I've got eight Flint. Let's head back east again, back to the tundra. And we'll get some we get some trees planting. Let's bring some oak with us. Oak is better than spruce, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a three heart start. I'm in hardcore. Um, and as I level up health, right here, I use my points on these skills. If you, uh, and, and then health increases HP. And one point of health gives one um, half of a heart, I think. So it takes four to go up a full like heart on the on the bar there. And it's tempting, especially in hardcore, to just throw this stuff into health, but I need to be able to do some of these basic things like trading and mining to get more levels. Uh, did I just start a uh, wood war? Okay. Come on, break leaves. Using some saplings. Let's not use up my axe on this. Just a sapling. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, Kalidor, this is going to be my normal time for the time being. It's early for me. I'm in the States, in the Midwest. But I'm an early riser, and this is a good time where I won't get interrupted. Sticks drop. Well, those are actually twigs, which you can turn into sticks, I think, like that. Some bad luck on the sapling drops here, and I need to get back. Oh, there's a village to the south of me, and a one that's not in in winter, permanent perma winter. Oh wow, this is a cool village. So this is just this is just a village. Um, but I think Terralith adds these new structures. And I'm starving here. Okay, I'm a little overwhelmed by this village. It's massive. I 
there's some deep slate tin ore, a tech reborn ore. And I'm going to need your bed, friend. It seems like a much better village to call home. Oh, and there's a Fletcher. There's already a Fletcher here. But where is he? This is a crazy village. I can sort the inventory with by clicking on my scroll wheel. Just pointing out some of the modded things in here. <laughs> All right, where there he is. There's the Fletcher. Hello, Fletcher. And of course, he does not trade sticks. Let's break his let's break his table. And let's get a stick guy here. Come back. Anybody? Are you the one? Yes. Sticks. All right. Let's get lots of sticks. What else? Okay, so now I have that got that can be 26 points trading those couple stacks of sticks which I will you know when I get to 50 I'll level up I'll get another point to spend and continue like that this is gonna be the probably the the fastest way for me to level up at this point had I not found a village um, you know they'll kill mobs friendly ones uh, fish you go fishing or kill fish uh, but this is by far the best way so let's get ourselves I'm gonna establish I left my crafting table behind let's just kind of establish myself right here We need another axe. Or four. And let's go find some trees. Looks like this is the fastest way to some trees. I think I'm going to use that last point on farming so I can cook these potatoes. I can't mine that coal yet, which would be good for some XP. If I can get... So all the tools, except the axe, are in mining. Um, and the axe is in farming. So to, get, to use a stone axe, I need to be level four farming. So mining and farming are where we're gonna focus. However, keeping an eye on surviving. So at defense, I have to get to defense one to make leather armor. 
And in my other playthroughs, I tend to just live with three hearts for a while. That, of course, keeps me out of the caves. I can't do anything with animals until I've increased my farming as well. So I can't tame... I can't tame pets or anything. So just about everything is locked behind a skill. It's pretty neat. I don't know why I took on this big tree. I will not embarrass my new stream team by leaving floating trees around. Is that everything? I think so. This is good. There's a bunch of um, rubber trees here, and these trees produce uh, sap, which you can extract from the tree with a tree tap. And that's how you get started in Tech Reborn. We'll be we'll be heading there soon. I'm really happy about this start right here. This is about as lucky as I could get. It was looking pretty dubious at the spawn point, but... Things took a turn for the better, for sure. I think that was a follow. I am not familiar with the alerts in this channel. ZZ 27 followed a little while ago. I don't know if that was the one we just saw. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, actually bear left a, a UFO tree. What is this house? This village is so cool. I just got, it's like total distraction. Hello friend. So you can see as I hover over at the top is the, you know, um, Wyla or whatever it's called in this mod pack, but I can mine cobblestone. So I can get stone because it's already mined. So that's kind of a loophole on getting some stone before you have mining three to mine actual stone. Okay. More sticks. The Fletcher is by the castle. But where is he? I'll have to decide if I want to trap all these guys somewhere. Eventually I'm going to, going to probably want to set up a trading hall. Or times like this when I have no idea where they are, but to keep them safe as well. There he is. Are you, are you my guy? You are.
all the sticks. Wait, don't go away. Okay, so you can see now my level is blue down bottom. It's eight. The Minecraft level is eight. And also buy stuff from him like these bows let's spend all these emeralds that got me something yeah that leveled me up a couple all right we are level four mining now things are looking up I don't want all these bows. Can't use them yet. I need archery one to use a bow, but there's a lot of arrows here, so that's... Maybe I should level that up soon. So many options. Guess this is my new home right here, this little spot. Okay, let's get a pickaxe. And break some of this cobble. Oh, I don't have to break cobble. I can just break regular stone because I'm mining for. Just have to find some. Looks like a pretty good spot to start a mine. Of course, I'll probably get these guys trapped down here. So you can see the start. The starting out in this pack is pretty, it's pretty slow. And that's actually what I love about it. I can say how I think. I can say your name, Smade333. Thanks for joining. And I don't want caves right now. It's too dangerous. The mini map, this is Zero's mini map in this pack, which is pretty great, especially for caving. Okay, well, I just needed some stone. I don't think I can, I can't mine that deep slate copper. I can mine this coal that I saw around. But as long as it wasn't deep slate, where was that? That was over toward the trees, I think. It's deep slate. Let's grab these saplings. So no coal for me. Let's 
Let's get some more wood and twigs. <laughs> I do get the idea that puns are a thing around here. At least with Mez. Apparently the Brock as well. Brock, I have not managed to catch one of your streams yet. It is on my list. Trying to stop by everyone's. Caught Cap and Calidor and Moe's so far. I promise I won't be cutting down trees forever. Sorry to hear that, Brock. Hope you're feeling better, or at least on the mend. I just want to keep the zombies away. Also in this mod pack is a mod called, um, I think RPG difficulty, which makes mobs more um, dangerous the farther away you get from spawn which we're pretty close to spawn, so I'm not sure it's affecting things where I'm at. But as we spread out into the world, mobs get tougher. And also, I think it's got farsight, which means that zombies can see you from much farther away and will come, come running. So just want to keep things, keep things pretty low key around here for now. Okay, more sticks. I suppose we can just also trade with some of these other guys, like there's a farmer with these emeralds I'm getting. Okay, where are you guys? How about this farmer? Is he, he's just inaccessible. I guess that's good that they're trapped in there. Keep those guys safe. There's the Fletcher. Probably shouldn't run through the archery range. There's this armor over here. A couple of them. This is a huge village. I'm sorry I'm not looking around very well. A toolsmith. Stone. Oh, that is good news. This is great. I just need all of them. What are you selling now? A bell? Okay. And pipes. So these architect palette, architect's palette pipes are just decorative. I don't think they actually have any function. A couple of armors here. Defense five we need for that stuff. We're getting, we're doing pretty well here. Let's get to for defense for, for iron armor, we need level five defense. Let's 
dump some of these tools off here. And let's go see that. Let's go see that farmer. I still need the wooden axe. I don't have enough sticks for you. There's a, what's this? Hanging roots. This guy's growing carrots and potatoes. What is he buying? That's fair enough. Okay. Now what's he buying? Selling. Apples, pumpkins. Okay, we're making some progress here, guys. This is pretty happy with this start. These are getting in my way. That sounded like a creeper sound. If I'm a one shot to a creeper. I'm not a one shot to a skeleton, but close. So I need to avoid, I need to avoid fights for now. Okay. can make some a couple of stone axes which I can make them but I can't use them until I upgrade farming which I will do right now so now we're level four farming we can do all these things I can use furnaces I can fish I can tame wolves and stone axe Now we can, we can cut these trees down a little faster. I've got some lawn mowing to do around here. Let's do one more batch of sticks to this Fletcher. And then we'll take a look around. There's so much in this village I have we haven't even looked at yet. We've barely I feel like we've barely scratched the surface of it. biggest village I've ever seen. I can say buy rights. I'm all for it. Sorry you had a bad experience today. That sucks. So thanks for coming by, Barry Core 2021.
that sucks that you apparently had a bad experience today. Nobody deserves that. Okay, how are we doing here? Stack. Let's get a few more. I think it might be a good idea to oh, see, I am already like getting grand ideas of heading down into the mines and I need to stop myself because I was going to say I can get a bow and protect myself. But that just seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, let's make a chest so we can continue to dump our stuff here. Another mod in this pack is Farmer's Delight. Let's put this furnace down, even though I don't have anything to burn in it except wood, which is too valuable for that. So these tomatoes and tomato seeds, I can grow tomatoes, rice, onions. I'll cook those tomatoes in a bit. Don't need this stuff. These twigs I can turn into some sticks. All right. So again, we're just, we're, we're basically prioritizing le quick level ups. Can I sleep in here? Yes. Thank you for the moderating, C3PO. Okay. Got these emeralds. Where's my Fletcher? Is that your house right there? How'd you sneak by me? A bunch more bows from him. Let's do it. What are you up to? All right. I like that. We'll get ourselves a slightly better bow. Anyway, let's get our arrows. We'll keep a bow with us. We got three more points to spend. I guess we should use it on archery. What's the next mining? I mean, we just, I really just want to get far enough up in mining to, in order to mine iron, we need Copper is level five, iron is level six, gold seven. And the next one that's important is, so this ruby and sapphire makes some pretty good armor. 
and Diamond is up here at level 14. And all the way at level 30 is the Flux block and the Skystone, which is what we need to get into Applied Energistics and stop living out of chests, basically. All right, let's, at this point, take a quick break and I will be right back. I'm gonna hide in the house for that. I'm gonna get a new cup of coffee. Be back in a minute. Okay, we are back. Recaffeinated. Trying very hard not to slurp into the microphone. Okay, let's spend our points on mining. Level six. Gives us iron tools. And we can mine iron. So let's go see if we can find some iron down in this cave and hopefully not die. And, and coal. I need some coal. I don't have a shovel. Okay, I don't need it. Try the axe. Okay, there's a creeper. Let's try out our bow. Okay, you can see there, down here, this advancement. Some advancements in this mod pack give you points. So Monster Hunter gave me a point in strength automatically. So that was cool. And what that did was increases my damage and unlocks swords, but not until level four. I can use a stone sword. Should have brought a shovel. I am being just too cautious, probably. I don't want to die. I like this world. And I hear skeletons. There he is. Ah. Oh, I need. All right, I cannot mine that. I can mine the copper. Copper um, in vanilla Minecraft is pretty lame. You can't do much with it. However, there's a mod in this pack called Don't Get Distracted and Get Killed. There's a mod in this pack called Oxidized, which brings rose gold. Actually, there's rose gold tools from a couple of different mods in this pack. Um, supplementaries, I think, maybe is the other one. And those are the ones that are used. Um, Oxidized also has rose, rose gold. Rose gold is made with a gold tool that you put copper on on a smithing table and um, they're pretty great they're pretty great tools they're kind of like iron so you can find an enchanted gold um, you know an enchanted gold tool in like a nether I call them nether leaks um, a nether ruin uh, and then turn it into a an actual useful useful tool with some copper in a smithing table of course, I need to level up smithing to be able to use a smithing table. Uh, 
Um, the other great thing and the best thing about oxidized mod is that it has a thing called copper pans and they copper pans if you put them on top of a sand or gravel block submerged in water they automatically generate resources they generate iron and gold nuggets they generate um, sand gravel and clay and that's where we can really start to level up with some trading because we won't have to cut down trees anymore to get sticks to trade. We can get a mason and sell him all the clay balls that we get out of the copper pans. Um, I think that's probably a good place for us to head next is to make some um, a really quick copper pan setup. Um, I need hoppers to be able to automate that um, in a bucket so I can get some water. There's some iron right there. And I don't want to get lost either. Let's make some torches. Um, torching your offhand lights things up. So that's nice. So you guys can see better. Um, I'll also light this up a little bit here. Let's safety first, safety first. It's also about nighttime. Let's go sleep so we keep the villagers safe. Let's go get that iron. If I can find a mountain, a really high mountain. Um, oh, spider. This version of Minecraft 1.18. It's really easy to find coal and iron at the top of a mountain on the surface without a lot of mining. Oh, geez. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, guys. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, you ready to start over with me? Same seed. I really like that village. Excusez-moi. Thank you. Thanks for the Fs in chat. Oh, my stomach is upside down. I need, I need to take a knee. That's what I signed up for, right? What do you say we try again with the same seed? I really like that seed. It'll give us a, it'll give us a quick start. All right, let's do a. Oh, sleepy king, kinker, kinkerer, kink error. Thanks for the follow. I am going to. So here's we here's where we can manage our worlds. Cause sticky pistons cool. World manager. List worlds. World options. I can't just reset the world. But we can get the seed. Oh, my stomach hurts, guys. My stomach hurts. I hope you'll stick with me through a restart. We're going to go faster. Create a new world. Sticky Piston 2. 
Was that the seed? Ah, there we go. I knew it didn't have a negative. Hardcore. Okay, start it up. Can you guys feel my pain? Can you see it? Take two. Oh, I got, I got, I got cocky. I got cocky. I did not give myself a good escape out of that cave. I knew when that creeper got close, it was over. All right, we can fast track this start now. We're going to head straight. We're going to head straight to that village. What have we got left? We've got about 40 minutes left in this stream. Let's see if we can get back to where we were by the end of the stream. We can do this. Except I don't remember where it was. I should have paid a little more attention. All right, it's still booting up. It looks like it's close. There we go. Back to the game. Back to the top of a tree. All right, well, if you missed the beginning, you get to see the beginning again. Breaking, breaking trees. It was over to the west and south. I'm just going to run there. And I think I can just dig straight down. This is just a regular tree. Straight trunk. <laughs> Thundery crown 82. Thank you for the raccoons for luck. I need it. I need it. Oh, west. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ugly ravine in the way. How do I get around? I hope those sounds, I hope the volume's okay. Let me know if the game sounds like those birds are too loud. There's some Certus Quartz down there. All right, day one, 8.30, 8.44 a.m. It's hard to count days because I'm playing on a server, playing on a Sticky Piston server. And even when I'm not playing the days, the time progresses. So it's tough to do like a 100 days in hardcore kind of thing. Unless I stop the server or something, but I never remember to do that. Where was that? It was down south, right? Down here? I hope I'm remem remembering correctly. I hope that doesn't, this doesn't go too 
against the spirit of hardcore to play the seed again. I really like that village and I want to see it. Thanks, excuse me, moi. Who is my wife? Way anyway, guys, say hi to her. My favorite person in the world. Number one supporter. We may see her in a in this world at some point. Who knows? Okay, here's our village. Over by the castle is our Fletcher. It's some easy tree farming over to the right here. Let's see how fast how we can progress in the remaining 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Hello, friend. We have met before, but you don't know it. We need... We don't need that. We need this wood crafting table. But in the same spot, that is, oh, I'm, I'm flustered. I'm clearly flustered. We need, we're just going to fast track wood production. We need lots of axes for that. And let's get some sticks and let's start the, this time. Oh, and I can't trade yet. So trading one and he buys sticks. Excellent. We don't have much, but let's lock them in. Our new best friend. Okay, to the trees. I am, I am a little scared. My heart is still racing from that. I, I may be traumatized. I was really hoping my days of stick trading was, was about to be in, at an end. But no. But, you know, it adds a bit of an edge to the game. That's uh, kind of exciting. I've, I've been playing for, like I mentioned earlier, on my YouTube channel. I, do, I did a whole series, and it's still going, um, on this mod pack in Hardcore. And I've made it to the end game. And I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot to be afraid of dying. Because end game in this mod pack with tech reborn has quantum armor which pretty much makes you op i can just i can run through anything take on a horde of zombies with three creepers blowing up and it barely touches you so i forgot i forgot what it's like i now remember Stay away from the big trees this time. It certainly beats, it certainly beats fishing. Well, 
not even fishing, swimming and killing fish with an axe. Which is how we've started many of these worlds in the past. Drowning is a real thing when you have three hearts. So that was a bit of a setback. We're going to quickly get back to where we were, hopefully. I will say it's pretty balanced. You know, there's some there's some OP things, but they come really late game um, and you have to work for it. I think I started to say this earlier, but that's, I think, really what makes me love this mod pack more than any other that I've ever played is that it really just forces you to enjoy and experience early Minecraft. I mean, in modded Minecraft, it's so possible. It's always so possible to just rush, you know, like um, if you've got mechanism in your pack, you know, you just rush the digital miner, you rush the jet pack, uh, you rush the quantum and no, not the quantum entangler port, the atomic disassembler. Just a guy, 990TK. Thanks for thanks for following. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. You know, it's really, you know, you, you rush those things in, in just in mechanism and you know you're pretty quickly OP. With the digital miner, you don't have ever have to mine. Um, you know, it's kind of it's too tempting, I think, to rush those things because they're there. Um, I cannot rush to the end game of Tech Reborn or um, AE2, Applied Energistics. I'm forced to do some of this early stuff. Even with enchanting, um, there's a whole skill tree for enchanting, the enchanting table. I can get the enchanting table pretty early, but I can't do level two enchanting until I've leveled up even more. Yeah, it gates everything. And it brings into the modded, in this modded world, the stuff I love about vanilla. I love starting over. I honestly, it's a, my favorite thing in Minecraft. And excuse me, moi will attest. We just like starting new worlds. We get to the end and we're like, what do we do now? Let's start a new world. I came just to get enough to make a stone Axe. I guess using up my axes is a good idea. Oh, there's some there's some coal for us that we don't have to go down into the mine for. I was looking <laughs> I was looking at another screen. Oh Scott, focus, focus. Okay, let's get a couple of wooden pickaxes. No, just one. All we need is just a little bit of stone for our stone axe. And everything's scaring me right now, to be honest. Everything is scaring me. Where'd he go? Come on, Fletcher. Okay, well, let's get some stone. Let's, let's disassemble this half of a house. I guess we don't. So as you can see, even we have we don't have any mining. Whoa! Let's not hit somebody and get the golems. I am definitely a one shot to a golem. So this is kind of a little bit of a cheat. 
to get cobble this way. We'll continue to clean up that that house. Let's get a couple of stone axes. Let's get three of them. The stone axes is going to be our our life for a bit. It's five. Where's the Fletcher? They must have gone to bed. couple of more trees. I guess there's no reason not to cut down the birch. We're just turning it all into sticks. Whose favorite wood is birch? Anybody? I know we've got some spruce fans. Mine's oak. Just throwing that out there. Though spruce definitely has its place. I like the birch leaves better for, um, you know, for terraforming and decorating. Not a big fan of the wood. It's got its place. Okay, I think we can sleep. Do you go to bed? And also. Use some food. That is a fair point about wood gathering. If I was not too scared to climb to the top of a tree, that would be that would be a good approach for getting some lo quick logs. The bad thing about spruce and Wood farming is that when you plant a 4x4 four four spruce tree, it creates pods all everywhere, which, which I hate. Dark oak is good. We're not going to live in this village forever, so I do need to think about a base. How we're going to do that. Oh, brilliant. Okay, I learned something today. We can we can end the stream. I did not think about surrounding that 4x4 four four with water. Calidor, dropping some knowledge. Appreciate it. Which reminds me of a water hack. So in this pack, there might be one in this village is waystones and villages usually have them. I don't think there was one in that winter village. We haven't explored this village enough to know, um, but there are waystones, which you can use to teleport between villages or take them with you and put them in. And I always surround my, my base, my home waystone with water in case I am burning. And this right here, allows you to return to the nearest waystone. So if I've managed to catch on fire, I teleport to my nearest waystone, which I've hopefully surrounded with water and I will instantly put the fire out. So there's a there's a tip. Since we're on the surround things with water theme. Random, but that reminded me of it. Oh, the tree cutting is slow.
another level up trick, which I might move to soon because we're here and in position to do it. There's a mod in this pack that um, causes eggs that chickens hatch to hatch if they are sitting on hay bales. So if I gather some of these hay bales around and make a little chicken pen with hay on the floor and put some of these chickens in there, they will multiply without even trying. And that's another, I guess I'm sharing some of the evading levels and skills hack here. But normally to breed animals, you need level five breeding. So you can't breed animals into level five farming, but there's a thing in here called a feeding trough, which automatically feeds animals. So if you fill, you know, put that in a pen with cows and fill that feeding trough with wheat, they'll feed themselves. And that gets around that breeding. Did I just cut down a big tree? You get around that breeding skill and the chickens multiplying by hatching eggs on top of hay bales is a good way to get some chickens fast. Planks first. Hey, DD the kid, Juan. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Appreciate the appreciate you being here. How are you doing today, Didi the Kid? Let's get another chest. That is not a chest. Are you still buying sticks? Let's. Let's keep the stick, the stick train going here. There, that was it. What else? No more bows. Okay, what? We got three points. Let's. Now we can mine stone. Back to the trees. Let's do the chicken thing. Let's set up a quick, like, tiny chicken pen. Is there, there was, has to be wheat. Has to be wheat around here. Okay, DD the kid, no problem. There must be wheat. 
in this village. Not wheat, hay bales. This is a cool house. I'm getting to see a little more of this. I just find that hard to believe. I see them. Okay. So what we're going to do is take some of these hay bales and set up a chicken pen, feed some fence. Of course, we need to find some chickens. I remember seeing one over there. I really do dislike stealing from structures. I mean, I brought, took that cobblestone from that house because it's a half house, but I really don't like wrecking the world. So let's... Anything in here? Let's just make some fence. We should sleep. Oh, it's not quite time to sleep. Let's make some fence. Do I have enough wood for it? Probably not. I don't. How much fence can we make? Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Almost, almost asleep. We got about 10 minutes left in the stream. Let's see if we can get to a chicken pen. Finding chickens might end up being our demise. Starving to death is also a thing in hardcore, so we need to make sure we don't do that. this greenhouse. Have I been in here yet? It's going to be interrupting something. Yeah, I don't see any chickens around. That's going to put a damper on that. Okay. Oak fence. I think that should be enough. My, the last chicken I saw was in the, by the woods over here. Let's let's put our chicken pen over here. Okay. So what we need is just just a small chicken pen. so I can reach everything without having to get in. I 
And now we just need to get some chickens in here. Just, just one. All we need. Oh, you know what? I've got an egg, don't I? I should probably surround the, the sides with, since I've got them. Because the eggs can sit on the edge and miss the hay bales. Sorry, I'm not digging with a shovel. And we throw this egg in here. Like this. We throw the egg in here. Like this. We throw the egg in here. Like this. And it will hatch. When it's gonna instead of despawning, it's gonna it's gonna take, you know, the despawn time. Uh, but that egg should. I don't know if it's 100 percent or if it's just a chance. Um Oh, I need food. Come on, drop some apple. Oh, I'm cutting down a, tr a birch tree, hoping for apples. All right, let's go. While we're waiting for that one chicken, there was some chests in these houses with some food. I'm moving slow here. What do you got? You do not have... I mean, I can, can make some bread, although I gave all the hay bales away. How do I get in here? And in here? Nothing. Nothing. I bet there's stuff in that castle. Let's go and check out the castle. Let's find some food before we get distracted by something else. One piece of bread. Here we go. Let's see what's in this castle. Where is even the front door? Okay, there was the hay. Oh, look at all this stuff. Neat. Oh! This just... This just makes... This just makes the end of the stream, doesn't it? What else we got in here, guys? Kind of a maze. Okay. We can have our cake. I'm right clicking with, not right clicking, I'm clicking on the, on the mouse scroll wheel to, to sort these chests. Okay. Bunny protection one and bunnies hop one. We'll remember those are there. We will not remember those are there. I will forget instantly. This is a pretty cool structure. Anything up here? Nope.
that's where I came from. Let's run around at the top here. What's up here? A chest. I love this village. Doesn't have a waste stone though. How do I, is there no exit out this? How do I get out of here? Well, I think I hit every every spot. Yep, I've been here. There's a lot of villagers here. This is crazy. Aha. Cool stuff. Okay. Let's go check on our chicken, which is up here. Okay, well, it is apparently not 100%. Can we find a chicken? It's getting dark. Saw one earlier. It is about time to end the stream. One more minute to find a chicken, maybe. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Let's do a bit of an end around and see. And we'll end it back in the village. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at, there's a chicken. Here's another trick. With two empty, where'd he go? With two empty hands, you can pick things up. Let's see, I'm carrying a chicken. And I can, I'm carrying this chicken. I've got slowness and it's also really hitting my hunger. So I need to be careful running around with stuff, especially in hardcore, um, especially at dark. Where was that chicken pen I made? It was right over here, wasn't it? There it is. Now, if we put the chicken in here, that chicken will hatch eggs and they will eventually multiply. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it. As I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this look at Valhelsi and Ansonella. We are going to continue this um, new game and hopefully not die this time. I'm going to lock myself in here because it's getting dark. Let's just let's just sleep. Thank you so much for joining me on my first Sticky Piston stream. I had fun. I hope you guys did too. Um, we are going to be here next Wednesday, uh, noon, British summertime. Is that what you guys call it? I've never heard the S be summer. Um, but that is when I'll be back next week, next Wednesday um, at noon BST. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. You can check me out on... My Twitch channel, Jangro. Also, my YouTube channel is Jangro Games. Discord, Jangro. We'll see you next time.
out of time on the Sticky Piston Trials? Then try a short term 7 day server. Play everything found on the free trials with no countdown of doom. There's plenty of useful features such as the click and play installer and world manager to enhance your server experience. Your 7 day hosting will automatically roll over to a monthly subscription until cancelled. Get maximum value with prices starting from $1.49, 99 pence or a euro. What are you waiting for? Host your Minecraft party server today.